towards the, the World Cup qualifiers coming up for, for Scotland. How do you kind of see them doing over there? Well, they're a really good team. Um, you know, I know that there's a, you know, there's a, a couple of players that have sort of fallen by the wayside just because they've retired and that sort of stuff. But that's a great opportunity for, for other young players. You know, they've, they've got some really good players. We saw yesterday we played a, a game up in uh, at Four Hill, uh, three forty played three forty. Well, you know, hell of a game of cricket. Um, some great cricket on display, and I think going to a, a tournament like that, it's about hitting the, the ground running. You can't afford to dip your toe in the first game. You really need to go there and, and, and play your best cricket. And, and to have players leaving the shores playing really good cricket, as we, as we saw yesterday and we saw today from the Scotland boys, you know, that's, that's really exciting. I, I guess the, the one massive positive that Scotland have is, is this is what they do. Uh, when you're an associate nation, you play in huge games all the time. Uh, you're playing for your careers, you're playing for your lives. Some of the other teams that are, are there, you know, Sri Lanka, West Indies, they don't have to do that too often. And, and actually, that's a challenge in itself, as we saw the last World Cup qualifiers when, when Zimbabwe didn't manage to qualify. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a terrifying place to be, the, the qualifiers, the pre-qualifiers even worse so, um, because you just don't know what's going to happen on the back of your non-qualification. I guess the West Indies and, and Sri Lanka have to worry about, you know, a Scottish team who have got a great history of turning over big teams, as we saw here, you know, a couple of years ago against England. Uh, you know, they've done it before. They'll be looking to do that again when they get to Zim. And obviously, you're looking on from afar now, but it must be seen as quite an exciting summer for Scotland because there's the Europe qualifier that's taking place here as well. So, a couple of real opportunities for them. Huge. Uh, you know, as an associate team, you get you know a couple of opportunities over your career really to to stamp your your flag in the ground and this year probably for them it's providing two opportunities to do that which is unusual um, but again it's something that I know that they'll be absolutely relishing that prospect uh, they've got good enough players and a good enough squad uh, and a great culture to fall back on you know so if they can get they get a couple of early results in Zim um, and and that's what they carry forward into the rest of the year with the European qualifiers as well. It could be could end up being an outstanding year for Cricket Scotland.